Wow, I'm not having a good day. I uh, woke up for a pee at uh, half past five this morning. Oh, well, actually, that's not right, is it? I went to the toilet about half past four. And then about 20 to six, I eventually decided, right, this is no good, I'm getting up. See if I can make a, a video for YouTube. <laughs> so I went for a ride the other day. This morning I kind of lined up all the all the video for editing and I decided there's nothing really in there worth making a video about <laughs> after spending three hours kind of uh, getting the video ready. And I've been to this pump, well I was at this pump about 10 minutes ago and it wouldn't accept my card. I've got no idea why. Oh for f sake, you're f kidding me. <sighs> So I bought cash, I'm gonna try the card, but it might not accept it. This pump says pay at pump only. So if it don't accept my card, I'm gonna have to move the bike. This is going from bad to worse this day. So it accepts my pin, but it won't accept my card. Oh my God, it's accepted it. You're f <laughs> I went back home for nothing because the other pump wouldn't accept my card on the opposite side of this. What a f pain in the So yeah, I got on the bike to try and de-stress and I got here and it wouldn't accept my bloody debit card for no reason. Went home, got cash, come back, now it accepts my card. <laughs> so I'm driving angry at the moment, I need to chill out. I want to try and enjoy this ride. I've got a plan for this ride. I'm just a bit wound up. You're not going to enjoy this video if I sound fed up. In the video, which I've decided not to bother put on YouTube, I ended up on a road with about six other bikes. And I was at the head of the, the queue of bikes, or not the queue, not the train of bikes on this, on this road. And the road opened up, but it was a 50 limit. Now it was wide and you can see straight ahead and I, I'm not saying I stuck to 50 but what I am saying is I felt guilty going as quick as the road could technically allow. <laughs> well what does that mean? Well what it means is all the bikes overtook me. I was the first bike in the, in the train and by the end of that stretch of road of a couple of miles, I was the last bike. Because everybody was willing to go faster than I was on this road with a 50 limit. And I'm not sure how I feel about that. <laughs> and the thing is, the reason I stuck, or well, I stuck closer to the 50 than anybody else, probably, was because I've been on a speeding awareness course. And you see all these repeater signs. And it should have been a national, I swear it should have been a national speed limit. But it's 50 and the speed limit sign was being like repeated every, I don't know, couple of hundred yards. I know if I hadn't been on the speed awareness course, yeah, I, they wouldn't have overtaken me. <laughs> so you could say I learnt my lesson, yeah. Well, no, because if I got caught even at the speed I was doing, I'd be getting points on my license. <laughs> But it just wasn't as fast as them. I know, I feel weird about it. That's all I can say. So my cameras are somewhat different. My camera's set up today. I can actually show you with my helmet cam. So yeah, I've got uh, Sony on the back, backward facing cam. I've got another Sony there. Usually it's this camera down there, but this camera is on the helmet because the Hero 9 is here. So <laughs> I have four cameras on me at the moment. So what's the crap with the cameras? Well. I'm trying to uh, develop a camera setup for the track day at the end of July. I know uh, I'm a bit previous, but it's only mid-June. But if this setup doesn't work, I need to then plan and try out another one. The Hero 9, here. So what I want that to do is be my, obviously, my rider cam, which it should be very good at, because I've got this little accessory called the Max Lens Mob 
and what that enables is uh, horizon leveling so all being well on the track day I'll be leant forward and kind of giving it all the old Barry Sheen and uh, the horizon will stay level while I'm playing city buggers on the bike obviously I'm not at a racetrack so what I might have to do is actually uh, engage in a little bit of goon riding so stupid. Well, the thing is I'm not going at the speed you need to get over the bike like that. It just feels like I'm pretending, which I am, but badly, which I am. <laughs> Magoon! See, I still can't lean off really. Good! <laughs> oh yeah! This is like a bit of a road, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I'm getting bounced around quite a lot. <laughs> like a fairground ride. Oh, dude. Oh, that's brilliant. I don't think I've ever been on that road before. I'll be doing it again. That is now my bumpy road uh, test track. Uh, I do enjoy riding this bike a lot. Just love the torque it makes, how it accelerates, the noise it makes. The suspension is on the chassis is basically kind of unflappable in a heavy, stable kind of way. I'm sure I'm nowhere near its limits as well. I know it might be a silly thing to say for this type of bike, but I'm not a great rider. Probably barely average. But I'm sure the bike can handle more than I'm throwing at it. I'm hoping somehow my mobile phone in my jacket um, gets to the end of the journey so I can have a look at where the hell I've been. I can see that it's connected to my bike. Whilst I got the old uh, speed limits on the dash. Woof. This ride went on for a bit longer than I anticipated. Oh dear. Two hours, 43 minutes. Good. Good. Slow down. Oh, I love this noise. Right, uh, I said goodbye earlier just in case all the cameras would have failed by now, but if they haven't failed by now, goodbye. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for witnessing my goon riding. <laughs> and hopefully this camera will be good for the track day. See you soon. Ta-da!